work. Whether you have it, you need it, or you depend on others to have it, work is central to your well-being. Work gives our lives purpose and dignity. Work gives us our humanity. Almost 500 million women and men need work. Millions more have work, but live in poverty. And hundreds of millions lack the basic labor rights to give them a living that is healthy, safe and secure. The International Labor Organization is the UN Agency for the World of Work. It was founded on the belief that social justice is essential to universal and lasting peace. The ILO promotes decent work for all through an agenda that aims to give people a fair stake in their working lives and in society. The ILO was created in 1919 as part of the Treaty of Versailles that ended World War I to ensure social justice for people through work. It became a specialized agency of the newly formed United Nations after the Second World War and today has a membership of 187 countries that continues to grow. The ILO received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1969 and today is recognized as the world's authority on the world of work. Its impact is seen at key moments in history. The work of the ILO affects almost every aspect of our lives. From regulations setting out safety and health standards, through to policies to end discrimination, violence and harassment in the world of work, there exists international labor standards to protect us. Eradicating child labor and forced labor. Ensuring equal pay for work of equal value. Creating new and better jobs. Strengthening social protection systems helping women and men gain the skills they need to succeed at work, and upholding the rights of workers and employers, including through social dialogue. The ILO mandate is an integral part of all 17 Sustainable Development Goals, and Decent Work itself is Goal 8 of the UN's 2030 Agenda. Headquartered in Geneva and with over 40 field offices around the globe, the ILO is unique amongst international organizations, where not only governments, but employers and workers as well, have equal voices. They work together to create labor standards and policies that impact today's global economy. Headed by a Director General, the Secretariat conducts research and data analysis about the world of work, and supports the work of members and constituents. Each June, the organization meets for its annual International Labor Conference, where labor standards are discussed and adopted. Its Executive Council, the governing body, meets three times a year. In the field, the ILO advises governments and collaborates on projects at the country level to help put standards and policies into practice through training, education and research. In 2019, the ILO adopted the Centenary Declaration for the Future of Work to respond to a world experiencing transformative change, driven by technological innovations, demographic shifts, climate change and globalization. It calls for a human-centered approach to the future of work, a task made all the more urgent by the outbreak of COVID-19. The crisis has revealed a pre-existing pandemic of poverty and inequality, which must be tackled if the world is to build back better. The ILO Declaration for the Future of Work therefore sets out a roadmap for creating a safer, more inclusive and just world with decent work for all. Globalization, disruptive technologies, rising inequality, climate change and a pandemic the world of work is changing faster than ever before. The ILO brings over 100 years of knowledge, experience and achievement, as it contributes to peace and security, to sustainable economic growth, and the dignity of all women and men. 
The world faces multiple uh, interrelated crises which demand global solutions. Today, the need for more social justice means that the ILO and its mandate are at the heart of the world's concerns. We have the capacity, the energy, and the determination to translate this mandate into solutions that lead to a more sustainable, inclusive, and resilient world of work.